Namaste. Welcome to the wonderful world of Ayurveda, Yoga and Jyoti with Thiago Namaste. Enjoy. In Ayurveda, the ability to speak and the ability to sing is related to Udana Vayu. Udana Vayu is one of the five Atma, one of the five integral parts of Vata. Okay? So, the idea is that the same thing that is responsible for us to talk, to breathe out, to sneeze, to sing, and to uh, spit, and uh, what is the kind of thing in, in English when you chew? What is the name for that? Sneeze, yeah, sneeze. Um, all these things that go forcefully or smoothly from the lungs out, they are regulated by Udana Vayu. This means, when you are going to sing a lot, or after you sing a lot, please be careful not to be speaking without need, okay? Because the same energy that you use for singing, you use when you talk, okay? It's also the same energy that you use when you go running. It's also the same energy as you go and do some movements in the circus, Everything that you jump, 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 it also increases the Udana. And this can be good if you are too heavy, or this can be uh, very bad if you are too light. So, for instance, you took airplane, you are traveling, and you are singing around, and then you go to the hotel or whatever, and you go running. Probably this is not going to be very helpful for your throat because you're going to be too light and when you're when, when you're too much lagu with the light property working you're going to be ruksha you're going to be dry okay so there is a relation between doing a lot of things with your throat and the throat getting dry right so when vata moves it dries when you sing when you uh, talk or just when you go out running or you go traveling, everything this increases the Udana value. And you need to be careful because if it's too much Udana value, it gets dry in your throat. If it's too less Udana value, your singing is just like with low uh, potency, with low um, strength. Okay? So, um, there is one very good pranayama. That is good for cleaning the throat. If there is a lot of mucus there, you are in the spring and there is a lot of, a lot of kappa aggravation there. There is one pranayama that works directly on the throat. This pranayama is the Ujjayi pranayama. That is the Darth Vader pranayama. That one that the sound is just like... It seems, it's similar to this uh, sound that we do when we start to snore. Just before we snore, there is this kind of sound, okay? So this pranayama, people from Ashtanga Yoga do it a lot, but uh, this pranayama is good to keep your throat uh, clean, dry, and hot, okay? So if you go to sing and you feel there is a lot of mucus, too much mucus there, you can do this Ujjayi Pranayama. Breathing from the nose and just like forcing the air to go back in the throat. Just like you are about to snore but you are with your mouth shut. <laughs> okay? Just very similar to the sound that Darth Vader makes in the Star Wars, right? This is a very famous pranayama. <laughs> so, uh, there is one very strong version of Jai Pranayama that you are going to make very forcefully their air to come in and that the sound is going to be So, it's the same mechanism as the previous one, but this you are going to do only with the breathing in, okay? And then we are going to strengthen it and it's going to become 
right? Just like, oh, I'm dying. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> and uh, this is, you only should do this when your throat is completely damp. A lot of moisture there. Okay? And when you do this, you're going to raise your right arm. It's go, going to be straight up. And when you breathe out, you're going to close your right nostril and breathe through the left nostril. Okay? You're going to do this one, five, ten times, but probably not more than ten times. Because the purpose of this is just to bring out the mucus from the trachea. Okay? You're increasing the movement there. Okay? So, the other thing that's important for people that are going to sing is to do the oil... Uh, what is the name of that in English? Oil push. When you put the oil in the mouth and you start to pulling, thanks. Yeah, oil pulling. <laughs> the oil pulling, it can be sesame oil, but it doesn't need to be necessarily sesame oil. If it's cold, you can use sesame oil. Sesame oil is usually is the best one for do this, to do this. But you can also do with or coconut oil or, or sesame flower oil, no, not sesame, sunflower oil. Um, if it's too uh, hot or not so cold, okay. But the point is that you should be with this in your mouth, just like uh, putting it once to the other side uh, with your uh, uh, cheeks, and this is going to make the time for to the oil to go in to the uh, soft parts of your mouth, okay? So this is because it's going to increase what Ayurveda calls Bodhaka Kappa, is the Kappa that is responsible for the saliva. And the saliva is the one that is responsible to make the proper moisture of the throat, okay? There is another type of procedure that you put, usually in the West, people say that you should put all the mouth full of oil. But in India, I saw people doing this just like 80% water, 20% oil, okay? And you're going to fool your mouth and you're going to be with that in your mouth just like for 4 or 5 minutes. You can be resting in the bed with your hand a little, if your head a little bit up. And it's, it's strenuous, it's strenuous to the mouth, so your cheek is going to be full, like that kind of fish, I don't know the name of that in English, <laughs> but the point is that uh, it has to be full, right? Because this pressure, it's important for the procedure. After that, you can gargle a little bit, you can um, put it out a little bit and gargle a little bit, and you can put just a pinch of salt there so it helps to increase the agony in the throat so it helps to clean and kill some bacteria there okay uh, this procedure you can do when you're going to sleep before singing whatever you like but it's important not to take strong wind in the throat region after that okay so there is another procedure in Ayurveda actually it came it comes from yoga that is called the jalaneti is the one that you put water a little saline water just like the tear salinity and it's just a small pinch in the water and there is a specific pot for that usually it's called jala neti pot so uh, the jala neti jala is water neti is going to use the procedure to go to clean the nostril and the sinus region and this you can do just like once in a week, twice in a week, every day, but not, not, not more than once in a day. It should be mostly one, one time in a day, okay? And it's important that... Yeah, you can use one full pot for each side, but the most important is that when you put from one side, it has to go clear to the other side, okay? If you put just like a little bit 
in one side and it goes to the other side, okay, you can change in the other side. It's just the same idea of cleaning the air conditioner uh, filter, okay? If it's completely dirty, it's going to take more time and more effort. But if it's enoughly clean, it's easy, just like quick you can do. You can, before the application of Jalanetti, you can apply the Nasia or Nutella oil or season oil, okay? Just apply the oil in the tip of the nose, inside the nose, in the front part near the tip of the nose. One drop, two drops in each side. And the, the oil, it's better to be warm if you're in cold weather. And then you do some gentle inspiration, pressing and releasing the nose. With your fingers that are with a little bit of oil, you use to uh, do some gentle massage in the face, uh, in the sinus region nearby the nose. And after this, you do the jalanetti. Okay? Because this will increase the agency of the oil. And if it's medicated oil like anatyla, it's better. Okay? Yeah, and or the anatyla or the nasa oil, nasa oil or the uh, sesame oil. Because this, the jalanetti is going to push uh, the oil inwards. And it's going to have the pressure and the warmth of the water. Okay? But uh, the point is, if you are overly blocked, this procedure is not going to work so much. You need to do some basilica before the basilica pranayama with your uh, hands going up and forcefully, forcefully uh, doing the expiration. The exhalation so this will help to throw out some extra mucus there okay and uh, you should use some um, herbs that are going to be um, beneficial for the situation that you are needing if your throat is very uh, dry and uh, hot the Glyceriza glabra, the, uh, what is the name in English for Yastmadu, licorice, it's very good, okay? This is very good when there is the situation that is dry and hot. If you need, it, it can be in tea also, but it can be in candies, it can be in different uh, ways, but mainly we are speaking here about tea. If you need something that your throat is very damp and it's very cold, ginger is going to be great. Okay, so ginger is good for cup aggravations. Um, licorice is good for pita aggravations. Okay, and if you are with some dryness in the cold and it's cold with vata aggravation there, you can use either a mixture of ginger with licorice or you can use um, cinnamon. Cinnamon with uh, something that is uh, in English, you usually don't have that so much. Anise, uh, you can use fennel, that is mostly easy to find there. Okay? Uh, in the cup aggravations, you can add honey. In the vata aggravations, when it's dry and it's cold, you can dry. You can add some sugar, some brown sugar. Okay, for pita aggravations, you also can use brown sugar. If this routine, your uh, cords are going to be just like very well tuned, and it's going to be much easier for you to go singing. Uh, just be careful with your vata, <laughs> with too much singing, right? Om yeah. Gam Ganapataye Namaha Sharanam Ganesha